Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the cancelled but recently leaked Call of Duty Future Warfare build, codenamed NX1. So, NX1 was in development around 2010 by the Activision studio Neversoft. They were the studio that made the Guitar Hero series. It's actually strange that they were tasked with making a Call of Duty game in the first place. At the time, the only studios that made COD games were Infinity Ward and Treyarch. Unfortunately, NX1 got cancelled and Neversoft was merged into Infinity Ward. Instead of Call of Duty Future Warfare, we got Call of Duty Ghosts instead. But NX1 wasn't totally lost to time back then. A lot of its concepts and ideas would later get realized in Call of Duty Ghosts and Infinite Warfare. Now, for this video, we'll be doing a first look at this build of NX1 and seeing what's inside this build, as well as a bit of gameplay too. In future videos, I'll do more of a deep dive into more specific topics and portions of this build. Alright, so let's start with the main menu. You might have noticed by now, but the main menu might look very familiar to you. And that's because it's basically the same as the main menu that we first saw in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And by Modern Warfare 2, I mean the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. And it's familiar because it's basically just the reskinned version of the Modern Warfare 2 main menu. Uh, just using different assets and uh, a few things like that. And that's because it pretty much is. Like, you even see leftover missions from Modern Warfare 2 on here. Like, the uh, Act 1 and the uh, SSDD mission. And it's not unusual for, like, games in later series to, you know, reuse assets from the previous game or to be built off of previous games. And in this case, this game is just built off of Modern Warfare 2. But, uh, yeah, so this is the campaign menu. And we can see here that there's several missions available in here. Uh, all the NX levels here are playable, I'm pretty sure. But there's also a lot of other missions that are listed here, like prototype missions and these game level missions. And most of them are pretty much not playable. But it is interesting to see, uh, you know, what they kind of had planned or what they had going for this and it's, some of these do sound like they could be pretty interesting missions. So let's take a quick look at one of the campaign missions and that is Moon Base Assault and this mission I mean that picture there it already looks very interesting so let's uh, let's load it up and see what happens. So traditionally historically Call of Duty games all had this little intro video that plays at the beginning of each mission to kind of tell you what's going on and stuff like that. But in this build, it does play a video at the beginning of every mission, but it only plays the Neversoft logo animation, and that's the same for every mission. Now, we're actually in game now, and the mission works, and it runs pretty well too. And I, I must say, like, I've always wanted a mission like this in Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare. It did have like a mission that's just like this. In fact, I'm pretty sure the Infinite Warfare Moon mission is exactly based off of this portion of the mission. But what Infinite Warfare lacks is uh, like true, like realistic gameplay on the surface of another planet, or in this case, the moon. That moon mission in Infinite Warfare, you're only on the surface of the moon very briefly, and then you're inside a base with simulated Earth gravity. And the rest of it, it's just, it's really not much different than any other, like, grounded mission. Whereas here, and, and in other parts of the campaign and other missions, you do actually, like, fight on the surface of the moon with, like, realistic moon gravity. And that's something I always wanted. I thought it was a huge missed opportunity in uh, Infinite Warfare. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> there, this, this is an early build still, and... A lot of work still need to be done because there's still a lot of bugs, and I just got like stuck in the door there. But so I decided just to end the mission there and just try another mission real quick. But yeah, I mean, I, we I, I, we should have really gotten this game instead of Ghost. Personally, I think there's so much like cool stuff in this, and I mean, Ghost was fine. Like I enjoyed it, but I really would have. I really wish this game had come out at the time. And I, I love Infinite Warfare too. It, it is my favorite Call of Duty game, or at least one of my favorite Call of Duty games. But what we, what I've seen in this build so far, I, I, I feel like it was a mistake to cancel Future Warfare or NX1. But anyways, that was just the Moon mission. Now we have some. This is the first mission that's included in the build, and this one is set on Earth, as you can see, and. 
it, it looks actually like it would be like a mission from Modern Warfare because all the assets are pretty much reused from Modern Warfare and nothing really looks futuristic on this particular mission. Uh, and uh, I mean, that's probably because of the, the reused Modern Warfare 2 assets. I'm sure if this game was finished, they might have a few more like realistic looking assets here and there. But yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting that you see like the campaign go from like a mission on the ground here, like, you know, fighting at the border, and then you end up fighting on a moon. But yeah, so that's just a quick glimpse at what the campaign is like. It, there's a variety of missions, and it, it does seem to be like what they had in mind. It, it, it was it was huge, you know. That they had they were very ambitious with their ideas, and maybe they were too ambitious, and and that's why like they couldn't they couldn't really like realize their full vision, and maybe that's why the game got canceled. I don't know that for a fact, but you know, it, it's for whatever reason Activision just didn't feel confident in letting them finish the game, and instead you know, rolled them in Infinity War to help with ghosts eventually. Uh, anyways, let's take a look at the multiplayer menu now. Again, the multiplayer lobby and menu is just the Modern Warfare 2 menu, so nothing nothing really new, but we could see all the multiplayer maps they had planned. Most of these maps don't work. They're not actually in the build and you can't load it. Like right there, we just passed one called Bin Laden's Compound. I'm seeing people on Twitter talk about it a lot. No, that map is not in this, but that would have been a, an interesting map, to say the least. There's also a lot of game modes, too. Not included in the original Modern Warfare 2 and uh, Modern, even Modern Warfare 3. I mean, some of these were in Modern Warfare 3, I think, but there were a lot of new game types as well. Some brought over from Black Ops and some completely new. Uh, and as for weapons, well, there's a lot of weapons, a lot of classes and stuff like that. I'm just going to speed through this part really quick for the in interest of time. If you want to pause and look at a specific one, feel free to. But I'm just going to I'm just going to speed this up and in a future video I'll cover these in more detail and uh you know, let you guys watch them in action and like with full sound and everything like that. But in the interest of time, I'm just going to speed through this part. But there are a lot of reused or leftover weapons and perks and equipment from Modern Warfare 2. And that's to be expected because it's an early build and it's built off of that game. But there were also new weapons as well as you saw. Uh, Nameplates and emblems and calling cards and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure these are all just left over from MW2. They didn't really make... I guess they didn't have time to make new ones yet. Most killstreaks are also the same, but there's a few new ones in there as well. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what's on the uh, multiplayer menus. Let's uh, let's launch a multiplayer map real quick, just to take a look. So I'm just gonna pick the map pit stop here. I wanted to try one of the moon missions or the moon multiplayer maps, but none of them seem to be included, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna pick the random one here. Uh, this one is pit stop. So I'm just gonna wait for it to load up. Surprisingly, the performance of this build is actually pretty good. There's only like a few moments where it kind of freezes for a little bit, but overall it runs very well. And I mean, based on that uh, debug information there, it's running at a full 60 FPS. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty impressive for a fairly early build. But yeah, so here's one of the multiplayer maps. Like some of this content is actually really complete as well. I mean, some of the multiplayer maps they still have are, are, have some components that are like just blockouts or like untextured and stuff like that. But this map here. This map looks fully complete, and it's, it's such a shame, too. Like, kind of a waste. There's so many, like, things that are, like, pretty much fully complete and never saw the light of day un until, like, quite recently. Um, I, I mean, I, I wish, like, some of these things, they just, you know, ported over and reused in later Call of Duty games. But, yeah, I, I guess for a lot of stuff, they never did. But, yeah, so that's basically it for uh, multiplayer gameplay. It's basically, like, Modern Warfare 2 gameplay at the moment. Uh, there's also like a theater mode included, like a replay mode, and I, I did try it out, and it it worked initially for like a little bit, for a second, it, like it would actually load up the uh, the match and the map and everything like that, and it, it took a little bit to like load it up, but once we got in game and then we see like the menus and stuff, it, it just crashes, uh, unfortunately. So it, I, I guess it was meant to have a working theater mode, but it just didn't work. So, yeah, that's it for campaign and multiplayer for this video. There is a Spec Ops menu, but there's no uh, unique Spec Ops missions to NX1 or Future Warfare. It's all just it's all just the leftover stuff from Modern Warfare 2. 
same missions, same UI, same images and everything like that. So nothing nothing really interesting or special here. I mean, maybe maybe they were planning to keep Spec Ops in, in the final version, but at, at the uh, time of this build, they had not worked on anything related to Spec Ops. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is a uh, quick first look at the Call of Duty Future Warfare NX1 build. So like I said, in future videos, I'll do more of a deep dive on specific topics and other aspects of the build. In fact, if there's anything you want to see specifically first or sooner, let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, if you enjoyed this video and found it be interesting, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your other thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.